Everything starts out with breakfast, and a good hotel breakfast, I can't say no to. Okay, looks like we have a pretty busy week ahead here in Munich. It's also going to be quite a rainy week as well, which will make things a little bit interesting, but we'll see how it all works out. And there's also a major reason why I'm here in Germany, and we'll get to that pretty soon, but right now, it's top secret. Here's a hint though, Mercedes-Benz has a brand new concept car, and my trip involves making a little production featuring the car. I'll reveal everything a bit later on. So I actually have a few goals for this week. I want to find the best pretzel here in Munich. I want to go thrifting and vintage shopping and come home with a crazy piece. I don't know what it's going to be, but hopefully we find something. I want to find the coolest museum or art gallery. And I want to eat a super traditional German dinner by the end of this trip. All right, let's get started. And just like that, we headed out into rainy Munich. We have a lot of stuff to do today, so I want to get started super early this morning. Damn, it's really coming down now, eh? Holy. First thing though, we need a coffee. So we're heading over to Ralph's Coffee, getting a nice latte. Let's do it. That's a damn good latte. All right, I think I found a pretty cool gallery. This is the uh, Pinakothek der Moderne. We're gonna hop in, check it out. I think there's some pretty cool stuff in there. Let's go. Every time I go to a new place, it's important to me to check out different galleries and museums for inspiration. It gives an insight into the place and what people see as important and special, especially when it comes to art and design. And that says a lot about the people in a place. And this gallery was an incredible surprise. There were so many different areas and some really cool exhibitions, but the areas that surprised me the most were the ones that were just highlighting beautifully designed objects. And a lot of these things were just ordinary pieces of tech or furniture from the past and even the present, and just showing a huge admiration for well-designed things. Okay, that was easily the coolest museum I've ever been to. I think what's so beautiful about this gallery is that almost everything here is just an object. Whether it was like an everyday object or a car or a design prototype, it was all just an appreciation for beautiful objects. That is amazing. As the rain continued throughout pretty much every day during my trip, I had to find a way to spend some time inside while still getting to see Germany. So I went on a little search for cool vintage clothing and antique stores, with the hope of coming home with some interesting things to remember my trip by. Absolutely beautiful weather we're having right now. I think uh, the vintage shopping is going to be a wash here in Munich. Absolutely nothing so far. I don't have high hopes. The search took me across downtown Munich to a variety of different places with pretty much no luck. It's called West End Antique. We're walking there now. And just when I thought I found a cool place with some interesting items, there were some incredible pieces, but I left empty handed because it was cash only. I really started losing hope, and just started to randomly pop into whatever stores I could find that would give me a good lead. It uh, doesn't really work with my outfit for today, I don't know. This thing is so heavy. I think it's a little too big, I'm gonna leave it behind. And when I was ready to finally give up, I came across a really cool low-key store with no signs, no mentions of what was inside, but it happened to be full of some incredible vintage items. There was tech, and furniture, clothing, magazines, and so much more. And 30 euros later, I had my haul. All right, let me show you what I found. So first we found this little brawn clock, which actually looks pretty sick. I'm gonna put it on my desk, I think. Then we found this brawn reflex control device. I don't know what it is, but it just looks really cool. 
I picked up this uh, vintage Braun clock as well, which it looks awesome. And then finally I grabbed these uh, magazines from 1956. Just look at these graphics. Second one, these are incredible. Just when I thought my vintage mission was gonna be a failure, I come away with three Braun devices and magazines from the 50s. That's pretty cool. After some fun and exploring and finally feeling inspired, it was time to get some work done. Wow, it's so nice now. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I'm in Germany. Well, it's easier if I show you. This, this is why. I'm here with my friends from Mercedes-Benz to check out and showcase the new Concept CLA class for the Mercedes-Benz Global YouTube channel. This car is a look at the future of Mercedes. Check out the exterior design. It's absolutely beautiful and super futuristic. And the interior? Wow. It's just packed with so much technology. It looks amazing and futuristic, but it's also very comfortable and calming. So now that we're here, let's get filming. This opportunity with Mercedes-Benz was honestly a dream come true. As many of you know, I love Mercedes. And when they invited me out to host, shoot, produce, and edit a full video introducing their new concept CLA class for their YouTube channel, I was instantly down. The whole video had to be completely finished by the end of my trip, so I spent a lot of time working and editing both in and out of the studio. It was, not gonna lie, quite a challenging project, and I really had to push myself, but the end result, I think, turned out pretty amazing. Hey everyone, my name is Isaac. When I think of car companies that are living the future, I think of Mercedes-Benz, and with the new concept CLA class, Mercedes drives even further into the digital and electric future. I love food, and nothing tells the story of a city more than the food situation. I had a lot of good food during my trip, but I wanted to try a very traditional German dinner to see what the cuisine is really like. And a local told me, to find the best German food, funny enough, you gotta go to the touristy places. All right, it's dinner time, I'm hungry. We're gonna hit a super traditional spot. I'm excited, let's go. This is Ratzkeller. It's a restaurant that serves many traditional German dishes and it is quite popular. We started out with some Thomas Henry's for the table and ordered quite a few dishes off the extensive menu to sample. First, the potato soup. It was pretty good, nice flavor, good consistency, but a little bit cold. We took a bit of a chance and got the crisp baked brie and it was honestly a gimmick, not great. Then we had to go with Obatsta, a Bavarian cream cheese dip that tastes like a mix of different strong cheeses and honestly, I'm a fan, I've had it before, I like it. Then the most exciting part, the mains. One of my friends got Schnitzel, I got the Käsespätzle, and my other friend got the Wirtshausbratwurst. I'm vegetarian so I couldn't really try the other dishes but here's what they thought. That is so good bro, it's pretty amazing, I love Schnitzel, this is my third one this trip. Yo, this Wirtshaus Bratwurst. It's fire. I had a bunch of sausages this trip. This is the best one. Caramelized onions. It's got some like crispy onions on top. Potatoes. Crazy. And my Käsespätzle was very good. It's pretty much a mix of pasta and gnocchi, and it's honestly perfect. And even though I've had Käsespätzle three times in a row on this trip, this was the third night. I'm not sick of it, and I'm still not. Finally, we had to hit the apple strudel, and it was okay. If it was warmer and a bit fresher, I think it would have been perfect, but it was very much mid. And honestly, the restaurant itself was pretty incredible. This place just keeps going and going. It's an infinite world in here. But overall, it was a pretty great dinner. Thank you. 
It's uh, pretty crazy that I just had one of the best pizzas of my life in Munich, of all places. That was incredible. On my last day in Germany, I wanted to spend some time out and about exploring. So I spent the whole day walking the streets, seeing the mix of new and old, the beautiful architecture both outside and also underground. The subway system in Munich is very interesting and most of the stations are quite beautiful. I also learned they have public washrooms in these stations for 60 cents a use and they were incredibly clean. Munich has very reliable and efficient public transit and in Toronto where I'm from, we don't really have that these days. Munich is incredibly beautiful and people here just seem so easygoing and relaxed. People have places to be and things to do, of course, but everyone just seems so chill. But there was one last important thing that I had to do on this trip. Okay, so I finally found the perfect pretzel. It's not from some like super secret, independent, small, random bakery in the middle of nowhere. It's from this chain, this bakery chain called Wimmer. There it is. This is the perfect pretzel. The outside has a nice bit of crunch to it. The inside's nice and soft and fluffy. Perfect amount of salt. This is this is incredible. And with all my missions complete, it was time to go home. <sighs> okay, so I'm finally home, all settled in. Honestly, it was an amazing trip. I'm really proud of the work I did. I pushed myself out of my comfort zone, got very inspired, tried so much amazing food, met some great people. Overall, it was an excellent time for me. I had a wonderful trip. And a huge thank you once again to Mercedes-Benz for sending me out to Germany, sponsoring this video, and for just making all of this possible. And of course, a huge thank you to all of you for coming along with me on this journey and making all of my dreams into a reality. If you like this video, leave a like, comment down below your thoughts on this sort of travel style vlog video if you enjoyed it. I might do a few more like this over the next year or so, so let me know. And if you're new to this channel, you like this video, subscribe. Why not? And thank you for watching.